How confident do you feel like Will Howard's playing right now? Uh, really confident. Uh, it's for him to, uh, they blitzed us a whole bunch this past weekend. For him to recognize those blitzes and get the ball out quick, uh, man, I feel like he did a really good job. He put us in some uh, position to be successful when uh, checking some calls, checking some protections. So uh, it kind of just goes back to his confidence and how he is understanding the offense and all the work that he's put in to be in this position right now. Do you imagine we haven't even seen him play yet in a game where he knew he was going to start the, the whole week. Do you imagine he can be even better than what we've seen given that now he knows he's starting? Starting as early as, as Tuesday? Yes, sir. Uh, it's super exciting because now he's going to have all the looks from practice and have uh, that preparation to go and be a starting quarterback for us. So, man, uh, everybody on this side is super excited for him, and man, we can't get out there. I can't wait to get out there and play with him. How did Saturday rate as far as all-around games for Deuce Vaughn? Um, I'd say it was it was pretty well. I feel like there were some things that I could have done better as far as in protection. Uh, it's one of the things that uh, we talked about, me and B.A., uh, this past uh, Monday, actually yesterday, is uh, protection-wise. Just I have my eyes in the right place. As a credit to Banner, they did some really good things with uh, their defensive structure. But that's one of the things that I can work on going into this next game. And uh, I feel like it was one of those games where in the running game, I was able to just pick up six, pick up eight, pick up seven. Uh, and then whenever it was time to pick up a 20, or a 15, uh, it popped. And then the, the passing game, uh, Will did a really good job of getting the ball out quick and uh, putting me in some, some favorable uh, positions. How solid was the offensive line play at Baylor? Really well. I feel like they played really well. And I mean, they gave us seams in our in our man gap schemes and our uh, counter schemes and things like that to give us uh, chances to go and be successful. You see DJ in there and picking up uh, gains and getting through the line of scrimmage. And man, they did a really good job of uh, connecting and then also staying on blocks. What's the biggest change or difference between DJ in game one and DJ right now? Uh, his confidence. Uh, you see him running with, I mean, a con anytime he hits a pile, anytime he hits a person, he's falling forward. And, uh, man, whenever he sees it, he goes. It's one of the things. He's understanding the offense. He's understanding what's going on. And he's getting those reps in practice as well, which really, really helps. And whenever you're on the football field for uh, 13 carries, a 10 carry, a touchdown game, and you're getting touchdowns, man, that confidence is going to build. So now, whenever it's time to go play, he's ready to go. When you're breaking ankles out there, do you maybe go into it, okay, I'm going to fake right and go left? Are you just kind of moving around and seeing how he goes? Do you have a plan going in? Or I, you just kinda... I, I, I couldn't even tell you. It's one of those things where, um, as well, in that in that situation, you catch the football, you look up, you see that you're one-on-one, -on -one, uh, and you you have a feel. You don't feel anybody. Sorry about that. You feel you don't feel anybody coming from the backside, so you know you have some time. And um, the first two moves really kind of see what he would do, and he kind of backed up, in a sense, instead of uh, running through his leverage, and then that that's when the third one comes and uh, kind of push you into the end zone.